Hello dear friends, my name is Julia and this video is not planned and it's just me enjoying art journaling and the colors. I work in my small dilutions journal and I'm using Dina Wakely's paint, stencils and college paper. You all know I like cutting out patterns in my work. But this time I am inspired by Claire from the YouTube channel Art Journal Love because she uses this face stencil to cut out and I wanted to give it a go. I will leave a link to Art Journal Love in the description box below. I have already given my pages a coat of gesso that both seals the paper and gives it a surface for paint to grab onto. I'm using black paint and I use clips to hold my stencil in place. I stencil this face onto my page and try to use a small amount of paint so it won't seep through. But if it does, it is easily fixed with some white paint. Next, I bring out my new cutting blade from Fiskash that is more ergonomic and easy to use. My tips to cut out pages is to take my time and make small cuts a little at a time. When I have cut out the smaller details to the face, I have this kind of see-through page. Next I'm done cutting and use a brush and black paint to fill in the stenciling because I want it crisp black. Then I flip the page and stencil in her hair on that side too, so it looks the same from both sides. When I'm done stenciling black, I bring out multi-matte medium and a few pieces of book pages with text left over from another project and I use the multi-matte medium to glue them in place randomly and seal the pieces. I have chosen three colors of Dina Wakely paint and I start with fuchsia and brush it on in three random places. Then I add the orange cheddar and finally lemon yellow. If I can, I want to leave a little bit of white, but most important, I want to see the brush strokes in the paint and I do the same on both sides. Next I have a dotting tool and I use it to make dots in all three of the colors used before. I try to put pink dots on yellow background and change the color of the dots as I move to other background colors. Remember this is just me doing what I feel like in the moment. There is no method to the madness. When I have an obscene amount of dots, I bring out a text stencil from darkroom door. I put plastic behind the face to protect what's behind and stencil in the words all over her face in black. When I'm done with the face, I realize that I want the words to continue onto the page behind, so I put the stencil back in place and let the black words continue onto the page, peeking out behind the face. Then I put the stencil on the page behind to add some words behind the face as well. Next, 
I place the stencil onto the other face, and this time I stencil in the words on both the face and the page behind. And as I did before, I go back with the stencil to enhance the words on the page behind, but not too much. I like when some words can't be read. I am on a roll stenciling, so I bring out another stencil from Dina Wakely and stencil in some black birds, making sure one bird is behind the eye to give the eye some black. When I have all my birds, I take a brush and fill in the birds with more black, making them opaque and with crisp edges. Next, I bring out my white gel pen and outline the birds with white, making them stand out on my pages. Finally, I want the words on this collage paper from Dina Wakely saying, I spill, I make my mark, and I use my fingers to tear the piece out and glue it down with multi-matte medium. And then, my art journaling pages are finished. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I hope you will come back, because next I make a project with a new Art by Marlene stamp. Until the next time, see you soon.